the town had the best sheriff there ever was. Then he died and he was replaced by his son Clyde Jones. Unfortunately for the townsfolk, Sheriff Jones had neither the brain or brawn of his father. I've got this fresh off the print for you. Long-standing Deputy Bennett was tiring of the Sheriff's idiocy. Oh, you idiot, he was right here, he was right behind you. Who? Him? No, the man that just left. Oh! The third hour boy you've lost now. Oh. Sorry, Deputy. We'll go talk to this chap over here, shall we? Right. Where did your mate go? What's it to you? Aren't you going to do any favours for the law? You ain't no law. You've got nothing I need. You went east. Sheriff Jones thought he was hot on their trail, but they couldn't be further behind. Hey, all right, I'm back. Uh, I need some shut eye, so if you get out of the way, 25% of my last job will go to you. Sure, whatever, Ed. I don't want to die, so make sure you are paying attention. Relax, man. <sighs> Stupid idiot. Stop! Don't move! So which one of you is the deputy? And which one of you is the idiot? I think that kid's talking to you. I'm the idiot. Oh, hang on. You can't even get your words straight, old man. I'm just going to shoot him, I'm going to shoot him, I'm going to shoot him, then I might shoot you for being so fucking stupid. Do it. As it turns out, like I often found Sheriff Jones, even if his idiocy did eventually get his deputy killed. <laughs> <laughs>